Have you ever seen someone that never brushes and never flosses and they never go to the dentist and they still never get cavities? But you on the other hand, you brush, you floss, you take good care of your teeth, you go to the dentist, but you still have problems, whether it's cavities or gum disease or something. What's their secret? Do they know something that you don't? Should you stop going to the dentist or the dentist a scam? Well, let's break this down a little bit. So cavities are caused by these bacteria that live in your mouth called strep mutans or streptococcus mutans. These bacteria will eat carbohydrates in your diet and they'll poop out acids. Specifically, they'll poop out lactic acid. This lactic acid will sit on your teeth and cause a cavity or a hole to form. Now, quick side note, you aren't born with these bacteria that cause cavities. You actually get them typically from your mom or something like that. Because when you're born, your mom will kiss you or they'll share a spoon with you or something and they will actually transfer the bacteria from their mouth to your mouth. So if you're really concerned about your cavities, you can thank your mom. Now, that being said, some people are more genetically blessed than others. Some people have genetically stronger teeth. They have stronger enamel that are more resistant to acids. And also some people have higher quality saliva or they just produce more saliva. Your saliva is really important to prevent cavities because your saliva has antibacterial properties and it can also dilute the acids in your mouth. And keep in mind, the acids are the thing that are causing cavities. So if someone is born where their saliva has a higher pH and they have basically more antibacterial components in their saliva, they're automatically gonna be at a lower risk of getting cavities. Now, another key component to preventing cavities is your diet. Your diet is actually the number one cause for cavities and gum disease. It's even a higher cause than someone not brushing and flossing their teeth. So some people naturally eat fewer sugars or fewer acidic foods, and they naturally do not snack throughout the day. So people who do snack often and do have more of these acidic and sugary carbohydrate foods are gonna be introducing these carbohydrates into their mouth a lot more and putting them at a much higher risk for getting cavities and gum disease. And on top of that, some people might naturally eat more tooth-friendly foods. These are things like leafy greens or apples and pears because these foods act like a natural toothbrush because they have a lot of water in them and they're really crunchy and they can help scrub and keep our teeth clean. Keep in mind that before toothbrushes were invented, people were able to prevent getting cavities by chewing on tree twigs. And this was the natural toothbrush before toothbrushes were invented. Some other tooth-friendly foods are dairy products like cheese because cheese isn't really acidic and it has a lot of minerals in it that our teeth and our gums need. And also it's gonna help produce more saliva, which we've seen how important it is. Now, just because some people have good habits and they don't get cavities, it doesn't make them immune, especially if they do not brush and floss their teeth. Eventually, these habits might catch up to you. For example, I've seen people get their very first cavity in like their 50s or something like that. All their life, they had really good teeth, but they didn't really have good habits. They didn't really brush and floss properly, and eventually their habits caught up to them. And just because you're not getting cavities, it doesn't mean that your teeth are necessarily healthy, because you could still have gum disease. Yeah, some people might be prone to not getting cavities, but they might have these bacteria spreading underneath the gums. And if they're not brushing and flossing, then their gums aren't being clean. This gum disease can continue to get worse if it's not addressed, especially if you're neglecting going to the dentist. Eventually these bacteria can spread underneath the gums and they can start to affect other structures around the teeth, like the bones that support the teeth and also the attachment of the teeth to the gums. And if this keeps getting worse, then eventually the teeth can get more loose because you're gonna get more bone loss. And if the teeth get more loose, then they might eventually even fall out or need to be extracted because it could cause an infection or something like that. This is actually the number one reason that people end up in dentures is because of severe gum disease. So I hope watching this video, you learned a little bit about something you can start doing to prevent you from getting more cavities, especially when it comes to your diet and also your saliva production. Some people just simply have less saliva for one reason or another. One, as you get older, you start producing less saliva, but also if you're on any medications, this can cause dry mouth as a side effect, or you might have a medical condition or something like that. Regardless, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor or your dentist about your saliva if you're concerned about that. But regardless, you should focus on brushing and flossing and going to the dentist every six months, regardless of your diet or anything else that you're doing 
outside of that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below, and I will see you in the next video. Are dental crowns a scam or are they really necessary? This can be a legitimate thought because crowns can be expensive. For a filling or something like that, if you're paying out of pocket, it might be a few hundred dollars or something like that, but for a dental crown, it could be well over a thousand dollars and probably more. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go 